Hello everyone, my name is Coxic. I stream on Twitch the design and art. And also, I have a small store with badges, panels and overlays. Do you know about Twitch Moderator View? Some will say that the functions are repetitive and even unusual. However, ModView allows you to manage chat and do your channel in simple ways. In this video, I will teach you how to use ModView, we will discuss why it is more convenient than moderating the broadcast from the normal viewing mode. ModView is a customizable channel mode that includes everything you need to moderate a channel. There, you will find all the functions that you can use in normal viewing mode, as well as a few new functions. To open the panel, click on the sword icon in the lower right corner of the chat. Moderator mode will open, and as you can see, there are many icons and panels. Let's take a close look at the panels and figure it out. The first is the video player and the chat. Those have same function as they do in normal viewing mode. To the right of the chat are the moderation tools. You can resize any widget and move it as you like. If you want to know more about a user, click on their username to see a panel with detailed information. There, you can see that users post suspensions, bonds, and moderator comments. The next panel contains the channel actions. Here, you can change the chat to emote only, subscriber only mode, or followers only mode. The panel below is for after mode. Here, you can add list of prohibited and loved words. Whenever any moderator takes an action, a notification will appear here. You can filter the types of actions that are less relevant to you in the menu at the top. Messages out by after mode are also displayed here. Here, you can ban or purge messages, and if necessary, report inappropriate content. Let's take a look at the information panel on the left of the screen. Active moderators in this channel. Here you can see which moderators are connected to the chat. The function is still under development. In the future, mod actions will be timestamped. Brief information about the current stream session. Duration the number of viewers and views. The action log. Subscriptions, beats, followers. The channel point reward queue. Here you can accept or cancel receiving channel points. If a redemption is denied, the channel points will be returned to the users. Unbanned requests. When a user is banned from a channel, they can send a request asking to be unbanned. This widget is a mailbox where you and your fellow moderators can review such requests. Attached widgets provide quick statistics and access to one of tasks. If you don't need a widget, you can delete it here. If you need it again, you can go back and restore it. When you are following someone who begins streaming, their avatar will briefly appear here. I may have missed out on some small details and solutions, but I tried to cover all the essentials. I hope you have learned something new and will now use ModView more often. Thank you for watching. If you have any question, leave them in the comment. On my channel, you can find more videos on streaming topics and a link to my small design store for streamers in the description below. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!